Alright! Unreal Engine MetaHuman Creator is now available in Early SS. And today, this is Corel. You can call me Kila. Doesn't matter, either way works. And we are going to talk about how can we use MetaHuman Creator and also why it is so amazing and is game changing. And in the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to import it to the previous project that we did with the lifelink. And if you didn't watch it yet, uh, please feel free to go watch it in my previous video in my channel. And if this video helped you a little bit, please press like and subscribe. All right, let's get started. So you can see this is the main website of Unreal Engine. And of course, I'm going to post all the link later on uh, in the description below. And when you go to the Unreal Engine website, you're able to see MetaHuman Creator is now available in early access. They mention it, blah, blah, blah. They mention how, how the unique character can be created. And there's like 50 ready-made MetaHumans. You know, 50 ready-made MetaHumans, it don't seems like a lot of MetaHumans over there. Like, uh, I mean, if everyone is going to have their own character, uh, well, most likely you will recognize the character is repeating with other character in their own games. But the meta human creator is really amazing in a really unique way, which I'm gonna show you soon. Like when so first, how can you apply it, right? So when you go to meta human creator, uh, you can actually request access and then just put on your email, and they will send an email later. And if you did have your account, you just press launch the app and then you're able to go to the app like I did. So this is the MetaHuman I created and I try to mimic my facial structure and also how my face looks like and my hairstyle and I would say it is really amazing and it, you can look into this. This is not a 2D pictures. Uh, you can actually right click on it and then move in different angles. You can even zoom in, zoom out. Um, and you could actually, you can actually see 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 in 3D now the way you want. Like the the hair is really nice. And the cool part, this is, this is all built in cloud. And I'm gonna show you guys how to connect to your project later. But this is really amazing. What Unreal is doing this is like it doesn't matter where you are. Uh, if you have browser, you could just create your project, and. When you go to create meta humans, I'm going to start it, and you can see there's a lot of uh, default character. Whoops! I guess my computer is getting a bit heavy. Um, you see the the Ada that we had earlier, and also where is the guy? All right, so Taro, I think it's a Japanese name. So he he's over here. And you can choose whatever you want. I my base was actually uh, a lady over here called Vivian. So, but I find out that there's a really interesting features that's called blending. So let's let's choose anything uh, we want. I don't know. I kind of want to do something like Wukong. Wukong is like the Monkey King. So maybe I'll use a base from Trey. All right, so I use Trey. He's kind of handsome. All right, so press next. All right, this looks pretty, pretty natural um, with the animation they have with the character. And the Meta Human is currently also in development, so the display only at LOD 0 and 1, which is fine for our usage. And let's go to the features I like most. It's called Blend. So in Blend, you could actually choose your features that close by any of these 50 SS character, um, which in a way is really similar with the uh, character creators and also that's that how you can morph your character in certain shape like eyes and nose and your mouth and ears. So let's let's try it. So now we'll just stop the animation so that we could do the um, little blending. 
and you can see there's some hotkey reference that you could uh, use like holding its orbit and when you right click you could choose the focus point something like that just follow it and you could choose camera one two three four five you know you can see every part of the body so I, I just choose one for now so that we could uh, do the blending thing so I'm gonna choose him and I'm gonna put oil here um and then you know i kind of i kind of like this guy this like this guy is really cool and then um you know it doesn't matter you could actually choose uh whatever shape of the human you want um let's choose i personally really like vivian i don't know just, just i'm just gonna put on it so so now you will see on the right side of the creator, there's some small circle over here. So what this small circle is, is it referencing on the top uh, left and the right uh, character, I mean the metahuman, that you could blend into the direction you want. For example, um, this nose is definitely smaller in Vivian. So if we drag it to Vivian, it will go smaller, right? So by doing that, we could blend into different shape, even like right in between, between Vivian and Oi. So I, I really love this feature because this create the possibility of even you have 50 assets of the male humans, you could create a lot of humans that, that based on the certain features that close to the character you want to create. So this is really, really nice. So let's let's do a sample like this. Um, I kind of like nose, maybe like this smaller. You know, maybe maybe I'll reference with my own image. I don't know, just for fun. So this is the image that I did on my studio. So. So let's 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 do this. So I want my nose to be a little bit taller, like this, a little bit bigger. All right. So, and then my eyes. All right. Let's 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 go zoom in and shift it here. Zoom in again. All right, so, so my nose over here, and then something like that, and then my eyes maybe a little bit inner and bigger, something like that, and then my facial structure is quite wide, so maybe something like that. All right, so I think it looks good. The ears is a little bit outward, so like that. All right, I, I say it's pretty good already. And now let's try the skin. My skin tone is a little bit, just a little bit wider. Maybe beyond here. <laughs> I'm not doing a really good job, but, but it's fun. Franco and accents, you could do all this redness over here. Maybe I just do a little bit redder just to try it out. Right now it's zero. So let's say something like this. All right. And my eyes, actually I, I find the beard is actually blocking my vision. I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna take off the mustache. All right. Cool, actually it's not bad. Not bad at all. And it's fun. So now let's do the eyes. Let's, you know, just for fun. Maybe I'll do, do the, how about the blue eyes? Green eyes. Now let's do this. And then the teeth. I think it's good. It's a little bit yellow. The makeup, um, you know, I, I kind of don't want makeup, but but we're 
try to do some crazy Wukong stuff. So maybe I would put it like black color. Wukong. Wukong is kind of like red. I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys watch Dragon Ball? Dragon Balls? But, but I like Dragon Balls. Wukong on the Saiyan 4. Let's do a little bit red like that. <laughs> All right. So the hair, the head. All right, let's see. Maybe something like that. Mm, maybe something like that. All right, may maybe, it's, maybe it's not bad. Maybe it's, this looks good. Color, a little bit brown. Brown. Hmm, I think this looks fine. Salt and pepper. Oh, cool. All right. I think this will do the job. You know what? Uh, can we do red? Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. I kind of want red. Renes. 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 All right. I guess right now, the hair color is only allowed to be in black and white and brownish, but I. It's fine. Eyebrow. All right, maybe it's something like that. I just take off my pictures. Uh, and I slash, you know, we're doing something like that. Should I take off the beard? Oh, this, this, this is cool. Now do I look like a monkey king now? <laughs> Mustache. I don't think I need that. Body type. Should I do tall or average? You know what? I'm gonna choose average. And then tops. I like. I like this. I like this already. And the bottom. But well, you know what? Just for fun. Just for fun. Let's let's do the top. Maybe do red. Red. Wait, I think in Dragon Ball it's kind of like orange. Orange and blue, was it? Something like that. Cool. <laughs> now let's do the bottom. The bottom. Let's do the orangey color. Maybe this color is better actually. Let's copy this value over here. And I'm going to choose a top again, choose a secondary color, and I'm gonna paste this value. Alright. Now I just need a logo over here. The shoes, you know, I don't I don't like to tie my shoes, so I'll just choose something like that. And well, let's choose black. Cool. How about that? How about that? <laughs> All right, so now the meta human is done. Let's let's change the name. Let's say Wukong. Wukong. Yes, you know what, Monkey King. Just for fun. All right, now just to, just make sure my character actually saved. I'm gonna choose my meta humans back. And make sure the name actually is saved correctly. So Monkey King, cool. So it's saved. So now you can view over here is the Monkey King recreated. But what's next? What's next is we want to bridge it. So according to the documentation from the Unreal Engine, uh, we're providing over 50 ready-made MetaHuman for you to download and use in your Unreal Engine projects directly from the bridge. So we, you can just click on the link here and then you will go to the bridge website and you could download it. And afterward, you will have the bridge over here. So in the bridge, you will able to see the MetaHuman asset. You will able to click on the one and then you could test it, you could download on your games. Um, but you want the character that, that you just created. So what you want is you go to my MetaHumans 
click on here and then click on the new one and you want to go download it so i'm going to press download it probably will take a while because now it seems like to me uh for the character you create it's going to generate it from the server and then it's going to download it back to you to the bridge so one thing i would like to point out to you guys is uh, I find out at first when I export it, I got an error and the error is because I didn't point the correct location for my plugin and for my project. So you want to do that properly. So for the plugin is where you locate your Unreal Engine. I think the documentation said um, it recommend you to do the 4.26. So choose 4.26 here um, and then go to your 4.26. For mine is in program files, Epic Games and Unreal Engine 4.26. And then you want to go to your engine and plugins folders. And then my default project is the project that uh, we did earlier for the MetaHuman um, S. So I'm going to open the project and go just wait it to generate. So we'll stop the video here and we can continue after the load. All right, we're back. So it nearly took 10 minutes, I think, to generate and then for a couple of minutes just to download the uh, MetaHumans, but it's final here. So just click on the MetaHumans that I want to export, uh, choose the resolution. I, I mean, I would just choose, choose the 8K because we generated already by 8K. Press export. And now in my Unreal Engine, that for my previous project, you can see it's importing it. Yes, yes. If you haven't did the previous project yet, please feel free to watch the previous video. Um, all right, now the loading is done, the shit is compiled. So now we could check our folder. There's MetaHumans folders, uh, which you don't have this before if you follow our previous project. Uh, you have a sample meta humans, but you won't have meta humans unless you actually export it uh, with the bridge, which we did. So now we got common and monkey king, which is the name we decided. Um, and the reason I was double checking it earlier in the browser is make sure this name uh, create properly, and this will affect the child of the name of the blueprint too. So make sure you do that uh, if you don't want your name be messed up. So yeah, so I got the Monkey King now and we want to have a double check on our work last time. So you want to make sure you select your device properly. Uh, in my case, it's Kila XL Pro. Um, and then over my MetaHuman, I turn off the 001 like we did last time, 004. And then now in we, if we press play, okay, I also want to include the face head. So now, if I press play, actually, let me stop and start the recording from my phone. So now I start and when I press play, oh, yes. Oh, righty. Yay. Uh, yes. All right. So, so it start properly. And now we could test on our new MetaHuman that we created. All right, so now I want to take my Monkey King over here. Let's, you know what, let's, let's drag and drop over here. And I want to change the coordinate of this character. So I'm gonna move here, I'm gonna move here. I want to rotate it, so I press E 90 degrees and press W again uh, to change the coordinate and I want it to be around the same height because I, I want a camera to look there. So now I'm going to turn on the 004 MetaHuman and then I'm going to do the same thing again like what we did last time. Choose the face subject, face head on. Now I just want to press, I will save it. 
and then press play. Let's see what happened. Oh, sorry. I guess the 004 is on because of the uh, animation sequence. So I'm gonna just choose 004 and I'm gonna move it back. Just make sure it's don't block this. And press play. Uh, all right. Take it. This is not even my final form yet. Ah. Ah. All right. <laughs> all right. So that's exactly what I did for using the Meta Human Creator. You guys could uh, do the same, and you should be able to import your Meta Human from your creators. All right. So hope this helped you a little bit. And if this did, press like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. See ya.